and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about buying an electric bike and how tough it can be buying one without trying one it's it's not easy uh, so I've said this before but my first bike was the Rad Rover and all the bikes that I purchased I've gotten them without ever trying them I just bought them online and that was it took my chance I guess with it and uh, I've been happy with every bike I've had I have had had uh, uh, no qualms I mean the only thing I had issues with that was a little bit disappointing was the Aerial Rider Grizzly when I had version 2 and the controllers gave out but Aerial Rider did send me new controllers and it fixed the problem so that was fine but other than that I've been fairly happy but it's it's tough to buy a bike without knowing what it's like and you can have all the influencers in the world on YouTube or wherever explaining to you the bike and like myself I can explain to you my feelings on a bike but it's not the same as getting on it yourself and trying it so You know you can you can read the specs so you basically you have to go by the you have to go by the specs the style of the bike if it fits you that way and then just kind of take a chance on your first bike at least but the nice thing is if you go to buy a second bike like my second bike was the aerial rider grizzly well i knew after bike one where i wanted to go to improve upon bike one where i was missing what I needed and what I needed was for in the area where I live here in the uh, King City Tigard area of Oregon I needed a bike that was able to do some climbing on the hills because we have lots of hills around here basically almost like mountains and so I needed a bike that was able to climb those hills for me and the aerial rider grizzly with the dual motor was very intriguing and that's why I went with that one, but but you can you can kind of go by like at first buying the first bike, my Rad Rover Four. The reason why I chose that one at the time was um, first of all they had a good reputation, their name, and everywhere I did searches, and we're talking back in. 2019 I believe I can't remember if it was 2018 or 19 <clears throat> but it was one of those years it was a Black Friday deal that I ended up buying for Black Friday but I can't remember now whether it's been five years or six but it's been at least five years and <clears throat> I just went by the reputation the company had they were the big name one out there and to be honest with you back when I was uh, looking for a bike there wasn't near as many choices as there is today I didn't have all these choices of companies to choose from and so the Rad Rover 4 at the time was the newest uh, Rad uh, Rad Rover version and so I kind of liked what it had you know to offer and so I went for it now today I know more than I did back then I've after riding that bike and now riding you know more bikes beyond that since I want to go this way I uh, have more experience with the bikes and now know more what to look for but even now you're still not trying the bike you're just guessing upon what it has to offer but I think you have a better ability to do that once you've ridden some bikes and you go by what some of the specs are on that bike you know and whether it has for example fat tires do you like the fat tires maybe you don't like the fat tires i think it depends on what you're what you're doing for riding how much comfort does it have a full suspension without a full suspension i think you probably would prefer a fat tire bike because it 
um, the tires will give you that little extra cushy feel but with that also comes a heavier bike the wider tires means a heavier weight of the bike so and like I was mentioned earlier for myself we have hills to climb here and so you may have to factor that in where you are and if you do then maybe you want a higher power motor or a dual motor in the case of the uh, Grizzly but I can see where it's a little bit tough you're a little bit maybe even nervous uh, first time buying but what I did too was try to take in as much information and read as much as I could. Um, I did my due diligence, I guess you'd say, before I bought the. Uh, I guess they're letting me go. Before I bought the uh, Rad Rover, and I watched a lot more videos when I watched the Grizzly, and I watched a lot of videos on the Grizzly. And uh, so I knew after a while that I wanted that and when it came on sale I went for it. But uh, even back when I bought the Rad Rover there wasn't as many video uh, reviews and stuff it didn't seem like any way to watch. You know there wasn't as much as there is now. There's a lot more influencers you know within the last six years than there was back then I mean I, and even myself now I started my YouTube channel just over two years ago and uh, when I bought the bikes the first two anyway I had no idea I was going to be doing a YouTube channel but after watching folks like uh, watching uh, different folks out there like Russ's right would be one for example I thought you know that's a cool thing to do take your experiences from riding and how how it is for you the bikes and and how their roads are and bike lanes and all that and and kind of talk about that and give your uh, opinions and just show people what it's like to ride a bike be it in the country on the country roads and the city roads up hills And it's kind of cool to share your experiences, you know, with people out there, especially the folks that don't even know. They've never had an electric bike and they're wanting to buy one, but they need to get educated a little bit. It's nice to uh, let people know what it's like to ride an electric bike. All right, well, that's what I'm going to do it for this video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about buying your first e-bike or buying an e-bike and how tough it can be seeing as you don't get to really try the bike most bikes are bought i'd say a good a real real high percentage are bought just online without even um, going into a brick and mortar store brick and mortar a brick and mortar not brook brook and mortar and uh we'll get it straight brick and mortar and um you just buy it by you know influencers online or, or reading up on it so that's going to do it for this video hey if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel thank you very much for supporting us just hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit the notification bell also if you want to comment on this or any other video go ahead and leave that in the comments below and once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.